All right, we'll restart here. Oh, 156. liking my golf game today. Run separate software for a Unicorn, huh? Yeah, I gotta run their their program. You Interesting. Know, the, of, uh, the one that shows me all my data and stuff. Just run it on a second screen. Okay. I closed it down. I didn't know it had separate software. Yeah, we. I mean, uh, the Mevo Plus, you connect to Wi-Fi, and then yeah. uh, you're good to go. So your your data. Whatever you carry it, say, if you ran, now can you run the FlightScope app at the same time you play this game or no? No, it only allows one connection. Oh, okay. Because I'm having a problem here where, like, I'll, I'll see if it happens on this hole because this hole is pretty flat. It's eight inches down. That's nothing. So, like, if I, anything over 150 yards, I've been getting extra, like, like eight to ten yards extra carry for some reason. Not every, well, not every one eight to ten, but let's see what happens on this one. So I wonder if you're getting elevation or not. Uh, and I'm not talking about just the up or down. I hit, I hit that one pretty much perfect, ready? Right? Wait, on my machine I hit it one, oh, 166, which is too much anyway. But it and went, it went even flat. farther than 160. Yeah, I went 180. It carried, it carried 180. And this is probably not near mountains. It looks like we're in a flat area. Yeah, I don't think this is an elevated force at all. Wow. And it's, uh, like, that's happening. It's killing me because it's, the it ball's flying 10 yards, 12 yards, 8 yards, like, all random, but more than I hit the, usually hit the ball. You know? Yeah, if it was a yard or two, it'd be one thing, but when it's 50-plus feet, that's, uh, that's a big deal. Oh, that's nothing, yeah. That, that, they, I used to talk with Unicorn yesterday. They told me it's E6's algorithm. All they do is my, my machine is sending all my data, and then E6 is running the shot, you know? Well, that's what FlightScope's doing, though, and I don't get any flyers. No, but your FlightScope is sending everything, right? Carry and everything. Everything. It sends all of it, yeah. Yeah, but my, mine is just sending, like, the spin, the ball down, and then the algorithm on E6 is doing oh. all the calculations, I guess. And something's off, like it's way too, way too far. That, okay. Well then, yeah, yeah that, not, that's, not that's gonna... I, I, know, I know my distance is pretty good and it's killing me. Like they need to fire. change it, they need to, so, so I, and I'm, I'm not an expert at the whole integration, but supposedly there's a E6 API, and, yeah. wow, great ship, jeez. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what, <clears> they should yeah, be doing the same there, thing yeah. that FlightScope does, and you can just use the API and send all the data. I am seeing your data though on the screen, which is nice. And I wonder if that's the difference. If you're on a system that sends all of the data, you don't see the data because E6 is not producing it. But I can see your data because it's probably produced by E6. Yeah, yeah, it sends all my ball data and then but their algorithm is insane. Like it's, I mean, I don't think most people would probably complain because they get an extra carry, but I, I want my irons to be perfect. Yeah. I want all my numbers to be right. I don't want to have to stop playing different clubs than I play in real life in order to compensate for this game either. Yeah. Hey, I kept you at three yeah. up. <laughs> but Leo, Leo, I'm gonna send Leo some data later. On, uh, I'm gonna do a range session, and then I'm gonna do like the I'm gonna run the flight scope numbers, and compare them. Yeah, that uh, that's not right. I'll have, I'll have 
my Unicor data, I'll have the E6, and then I'll have Flight Scope to compare all three, and he's going to run it through that optimal flight. Nice. Yeah, I, I don't get an extra yard on here. I mean, it uh, it makes you work. That's, like, that's, that's what I want. Like, I'd be happy if they just sent my data. You know? I, I agree, and they and they should. Unicorn could change that if they want. They totally oh, yeah. could. Maybe if they get enough requests, they'll listen and then they'll just change it. You know. Nice drive. I see. Like that one I carried 260 and went 260. So I, I probably got 10 or 12 yards more on that one too because it was uphill. Sure. Sure. Oh, so it's got me right there. Yeah, let the launch monitors do the work, right? Yeah, why not? I mean, that's what we got them for, so we can get our data all correct. Yeah. Especially on a system like yours, I mean, what, was it was like six grand or something. Yeah, it was six thousand. Yeah. I wonder how hard it would be for them to change it. You would think it's probably not that not that tough. All I you mean, do is send the data. I'm not a software developer by any means, but the way APIs work, you basically take the different fields and just program each field to go to each API setting, and then it just sends the data. So I mean, any good programmer would probably be a walk in the park. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see. I'll contact him again tomorrow when they're back in the office. I'll see what's going on. Because I know E6, they have all different answers. I asked them. Uh, the guy Johnny B was thinking about buying the game, and then he uh, he actually sent them a video and everything. I guess but probably that they came back and said it's Unicor's problem. The Unicor said it's them running the algorithm. Everybody's all over the place. Well, and Unicorn's correct. I mean, it is E6's problem, but they have an option to send the real data. So. It's yeah. even though it's not their problem, they have an option to fix it. What was that? A three wood? Yeah. Now watch this, right? Three wood. I hit that two forty six point six carry, and it carried two sixty nine point six. <laughs> well, and I was gonna say that I was like, man, that's a lot of three wood. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can hit it. It's almost two fifty carry for myself. Still, like that's, yeah, see, I hit my, I hit my three hybrid all, because like it's just fake numbers, you know. Yeah, that that stinks. That's tough to play that way too. If you're a good golfer, I mean, geez. Um, I hit my three hybrid because I'm scared of my three wood. <laughs> Sixty now. And most people would think it, it helps you get an extra distance, but I mean, I have to adjust my, I have to adjust my whole game, my every club in my bag, basically. Wow. I just smoked that ball. Oh. That was all my fault there. Have you played, uh, what does TGC do for you? Do they use their own, they use their own algorithm, right? Uh, I did notice the numbers were a little longer in TGC. Not much. They were close, but just a tad longer. And so, yes, I'm assuming that they, at, yeah, at they some use. point, take their own. Because they were showing club path and face angle yeah. and uh, Mevo Plus doesn't read those. Yeah, I find TGC is pretty close except for when I hit low spin drives, they just fall out of the sky in TG. They don't like those. That's the only ones. Everything else is pretty. The irons are spot on basically. Nice. Yeah, I, I feel like it's all really accurate. That's why this game just throws me off. It's so weird that their algorithm would be so, so far off of like I ran some numbers through flight scope yesterday. Same thing, it was a three wood I hit with Ricky, and he thought it looked fine, it carried 250, but I hit like a low burner and it carried about 230. I ran it in a flight scope and matched it with more exactly when I did it. Well, and nothing against True, True Golf Simulator, but you know, their, their highest volume simulator is a, uh, what do you call it? Oh, that's within Gimme. You got me again, unless I can sync this. <laughs> um, is an in-mat, you know, 
sensor system. So if, yeah. if, the, if this algorithm is based off of that in that sensor system, no wonder you know launch monitor companies are going to send the data rather than use the algorithm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if they can change it maybe. And it's, I'm not the only one, but the unit. I'm waiting for all the guys. I know there's a few of us on the survey yet. Look at that thing that roll out. Slow down. Slow down. That have the unicorn. So I'm waiting to see what they. I know Johnny had the same issue, so it's not just me. Yeah. But there's no one else. Huh? What other system would? Right now it's only SkyTrack and Mevo, right? GC two's not working yet. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else is out there. Other than some gimmicky ones like that uh, tittle thing and stuff, I, I don't think there's anything yeah. else. Yeah, so no one else would, uh, no one else would know that if that data's too much. No. Nope. Yeah, because cause SkyTrack, I think, sends the data, yeah. 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 Oh, I'm sure they'll figure it out. I'm yeah. not worried about it. I can adjust for the time being, but hopefully they do something anyway. So what's that put you four up now? <laughs> I think so, yeah. Uh oh, I'm not seeing your ball fly. Yeah, I didn't see it either. It didn't go anywhere. Didn't read it for some reason. Right, right again. Hey, we're at least on a tee box if that's the case. <laughs> yeah, let me see what's going on. It's not. Hold on. It's, uh, Can you read? Hey, I went to the scorecard, no problem. Hit Can... OK, resume. What about the unicorn? Can you, can you power, power cycle it? It says ready. It says ready. So try it again. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Try it again. If it does, I'll reload it like again. There you go. Hey, guys, get a shitty across third try. Uh, oh, what a bounce! <laughs> what, what a bounce! What a bounce there, huh? 284 and 299. <laughs> I was hoping it would uh, hit it and bounce. I was like, there's a yardage. Yeah, a nice, nice long bounce. Got to take it when you have it. Yeah, see, I don't carry the ball much more than like 260, 265 on average or something, I would say. My good drive is 275, 280. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be tough, so I don't want to go too far. It's downhill. That was so fat. Looks 
shot. Thanks. <clears throat> would you would you get a four? Yeah, it should be. Okay, so I'm hitting the three here, right? I gotta sink this plug. Got it. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, see, that takes you from one under to two under, so you birdied that. Yeah, yep. that was a birdie. Yeah, so now you're five up. I am running out of time. <laughs> okay. I think I would probably be about five under right now. Yeah, you would. You probably would, yeah. Three under through two, and then we cut out, and then I birdie and par. I mean, I'm no amazing golfer. I mean, I usually play a little better than this, but I mean, uh, you're playing awesome. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, that's, like uh -oh. that's my miss. That's that's what I do. Yeah, that's what I do. I battled that all last season outside. That's that is my exact I a miss. Little, a little fast. I turn the club face right over. I hit the toe. Yep. Yeah, it's almost like I over-release or something. It's weird. That's that's what I do. I flip my hands, get out, turn it. That's it. I haven't been doing it too often. I'm hoping the shit's a lot better outside with it. Yeah, I, I slowed my swing down, and so I don't hit it as far, but I at least miss less, you know? Yep. Good shot. Thanks. All right, let's see what I got out of this. Is there a way to change change the view? Oh, never mind. I got it. See now. Yeah, I was gonna say go down to your E6 button there, and or the little dots, I should say. It's funny too, because the other player can never see you changing your view or aiming. Oh no. Nope. It always just stays the same. Alright, I really don't have I really don't have a shot here. Yeah. Unless I can thread the needle right through here, which we're gonna try. Thick woods. Thick woods. Alright, well let's see if I can get it up through this these branches. That's so funny, it carried 129. That's what I was kind of trying to hit. That downhill car uh, killed me though. It's a little too far. Oh. Oh, what happened there? I was gonna say, what do you mean? It's suspicious. <laughs> I thought you did. I thought you did put it because it looked like it rolled like a putt. Yeah, it rolled. It rolled. That's why I said what happened there because it rolled like, you know, like a putt did. Almost like a misery, huh? I wanted to chip it like six, seven, eight yards, you know, have it roll out. Whatever reason, the plus is not. 
liking my soft putts today. This one's way downhill for you. Well, and that's the thing, I don't want to over hit it. Slow down. But see, that's, that's, that's me will plus for you. And that's the only problem, that's why I was saying the 10 foot guineas is like a minimum for me, because all it takes is, is it, I mean, sometimes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the angle and make it a little less. That sometimes helps, but it, uh... Oh, so it has, has trouble picking up, picking up the speed under 10? The under 10 feet, it, it, it is a struggle right now. You have to hit it a little too hard. Um, yeah. it, this is beta firmware, and it's, uh, it's getting better, but it's not there yet. I'll give you, I'll give you that whole, we'll tie that one. Oh, it doesn't matter. I mean, I got no shot. I don't want you to get screwed. So we'll push on that one. All right. We could have, we could have played computer decides. I said I didn't know. I didn't give a shit. No. No, I, it's it's all. I mean, honestly, on the good putts, it it does a great job. You know, it's just it's weird. It it overspeeds it. It's and not, it's, uh, not, it's not good being at a disadvantage. You know. Yeah. It's terrible. All right. This one's playing one. I played around the other day and I felt like it read them all great. It was, it was, it's so it read weird. them all? I mean, I, feel, I felt like it did a decent job. I mean, I kind of jammed them in there though, you know? Oh, I missed. Oh. 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 oh, crap. It's all right, I just did one of those a little while ago. Yeah, and my hand came completely off the club. Looks like he got a line. He can go up and over. Yeah, when I roll all the way through the, through the trees, not no matter what I had, but I'm going to save this one. Let's see. There's the zip. There's the zip. Hey, nice, nice par. Then go inside ten. Yeah, nice par. Oh, wow. All right, thanks. Well done. Good hole. All right, you're uh, what four? Four yeah, down. Yeah, four down. Oh, the struggle is real out a lot here. Of holes, a lot of holes to go. I know. I have fun if I'm eighteen down. I don't care. Yeah, let's take it. Yeah. Good yeah. I like the match play though, I think it's fun. Yeah, it'd be nice once they get the scoring set up and all that. Well yeah, we could actually be playing on match play right now, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> oh boy. Get over that bunker. Yeah, we'll get over, get over. That's the thing about E6, I know it's a little yearly money, but... Oh, another miss, huh? It sounded good. Sorry, I didn't mean to start talking. No, no, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. You can talk what you want, but I don't know why it's not. Usually it takes one second to reset for me in between shots. Like, I waited till my name went off the screen there, and it didn't slip, though. I noticed how some systems say ready down there, and then the launch monitors yeah. usually don't. Like mine doesn't say anything. Mine, mine is saying ready. 
Now, if you look back at the Mevo, there is a little red light um, that, that means armed, and that usually means it's ready. All right, I'll try again. Seeing like the last time when I exited the menu, went back in, it worked. Yes, yeah, so the third one, it says ready, so try again. I hit those last two pretty freaking good. So yeah, they, they, nice. they sounded good. <laughs> There you go. Another, another nice shot. Nice shot. Yeah, so what do you think your average drive? Are you getting an extra 10 or 15 yards for, from the system then? See, now, now that one, right? That one I carried 281.4 on Unicorn, and it went 281 on the system on E6. Oh, so it was close. But it was uphill. It was an uphill drive right now, like the 22. Oh, then you can't really compare that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. so yeah, I'd say I'm probably getting like 15 yards on every drive, you know? Yeah. Which I was looking at your club head speed and that would that would make sense because, I, I mean, it's e it's kind of easy to usually tell how far a ball's going to go by the data, you know? Yeah, I'm usually in the 160s, 165, whatever. That one was 165.8. Not a good strike. I mean, like I said, most people would love it, but I don't even want it. You know? Yeah. Yeah, and that's I yeah. Extra, I don't want the extra yards. I want that's, everything to be, to be the side. Well, and the guys that are playing on, uh, I think SkyTrack and True Golf allows it. You can boost boost things, and it's like, why? I just don't understand why there's a boost. You know? Oh, really? I'm not yeah, positive on SkyTrack, but I'm positive on True Golf that you can boost. I'm that's, positive. That's a whole other can of worms right there. One yeah. of, yeah, one of the guys, his ball speed was like 200. And, <laughs> well, yes. and, and we were like, what's going on? And he goes, oh, I'll turn it down, you know. Turn it down. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, just let me adjust it to what I want. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, now, now feeling strong today. Let me, let me move the slider off five notches. <laughs> That's, that's good to know. I wouldn't want to play that way. I mean, I would mess my whole game up. I don't up. either. I don't either. I want, to, I want to play as close to real life as I can, so when I go outside, all my numbers match. Exactly. Get down, ball. Oh, God. What microphone did you switch to? Because you're loud and clear now. I went, now I'm using the projector, I guess. I'm, I switched to the laptop. I was on the phone through the Bluetooth speaker, so now, now I'm on the laptop. It's going through my projector and I can you through there. Yes. So I assume my mic is, the mic is in the laptop. Okay, yeah, because it's, uh, it's crystal clear, nice and loud now. Good. All right. Man, your chipping game's on fire. Nice shot. Yeah, it's good. Get everything you give me, right? So 34, 44 spin, checked up a little bit, rolled a little bit. I mean, that that seems realistic. Yeah, that one I had 25 yards in, I hit it 18. And it rolled right just past the cup. So it was about, yeah, 20 something feet to roll out. Yeah, I need to improve my mental game uh, as far as short game goes, because what I do is I look at the amount to the pin, and a lot of times I hit it that far, and I should be landing it yeah. short, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'm always, I'm always doing it, like three quarters or half, let it roll out the rest. Like right there. Stop. That's a good shot. Thanks. Still should have been a little shorter though, you know? So that was 3,000 spin. But our balls are realistic on those shots, you know, and it's not a big downhill, or a, or a, or a 10,000 spin. Got me up? Uh, yeah, I, would, I mean, on chip shots, I would expect, you know, from off in the front of the green roll 20 feet. That's not bad. Yeah. And they're hitting the green. I mean, you had that one that spun like crazy. Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. I think that was crazy. It was 40 feet off the green. Easily. Easily. Yeah, show me. I, I mean, I, I'd like to see Tiger Woods do that a couple times in a row. So that's about the best. That's about the best drive I can hit right there. All right. What uh? What happened on the last hole? I lost track. Did we tie? 
It would have been a half, yeah. You're still yeah, okay. You're still two two under, I'm even. What through nine? You you were three up on the first scorecard. That's really all we have to remember. But now you're you were three up and now you're one more up? So you're four up still, yeah. right? Four Look at this. My bad drives are working out for me. I was just going to say, look how far it is. <laughs> 324, you've got a nice little approach shot. <clears throat> well, I'm either going to get screwed and my pitching wedge is going to check up, or I'm going to get a little normal rollout like I would in real life, and hopefully it works if I hit the green. This is the shot that's tough for me with this spin. Pretty realistic. Ended up staying on the green, right? That looked good. Yep, yep. I thought that was pretty realistic. Good shot, though. Solid bump and run. See how this Mevo does here with, uh, if I change the angle, it should be a little less now. So I've been experimenting with angle and telling them how it's working. 13 feet, that's straight. When it reads it, it's it's spot on, you know? It's just that radar is a little little sensitive. What they're doing is, not that you really care, but if you want to know, uh, they're like adjusting the ball characteristics when it rolls because what they're finding is, is that all the turf makes the balls kind of like bounce up and down and do different things and the radar gets a little confused, which makes sense. Yeah, oh yeah, turf makes a huge difference. Oh, yeah. I just had a plug and green putting put my off. Oh, that's a huge miss. Oh, sorry. No, it's, all, it's okay. It's not you. you can, no, I'm the same way. You can talk all day long. All right. That was just a... Yeah, but, it, but what a difference depending on putting surface. Now I have enough room I can get off of one mat up from a putting green. I, I, I tried a few weeks ago to put off the hitting surface. I was getting four or five degree offline reads, like, just all over the place. Yep. And I have nice turf. I mean, it, it rolls relatively well. It's just that it's not, you know, true roll. That's for sure. got some work to do. <laughs> What's that? I've got some work to do. I don't even know what to do here. Like I kind of want to go up and over, but I can't go up and over because the water. I could lay up there. I could punch out. Did you get it over? How far you got over the water? Can you get it over? Yeah, that's what that's what I was thinking is, is if I could yeah, crush, crush one over the water. I'd have to go right at that tree. Way on to the right, yeah. See if you can have an approach in anyway, stick it. Yeah, I think I might try it. 
Oh boy. It's a match play. Gotta go for it, right? Hell oh, yeah, why not? That is not what I meant to do, and... Get up, get up, oh. get up. Oh! Stay. <laughs> Did it stay? No, it didn't roll. Well, it's on the edge, but that's gotta be water. It looks like I see it on the edge. I don't see it. No. Oh, no, it went in. Yeah. Oh, I, sh gosh. I should just pick up and let you, uh... Where is it even gonna make me drop this? All the way back here. If it wouldn't have caught that branch, I, I just, I, I released too much and... Especially oh, since I'm sitting three. <laughs> well, no, I'm sitting one, two. Yeah, I'm I'm smoked. Shooting four here. Two oh nine. I've still got two oh nine to go. Oh, where's it has it has me pointed left? Oh, because it has me going back to the. Yeah, where is it? it looks like you're right in the green for me. Well, right, it had me pointed back to the fairway, which obviously I'm not going to oh, do. Okay. And so I, I just changed my aim, but you're not going to be able to see it because it doesn't move on the uh -huh. other side. Okay. They must do that for data limitations. Get in the hole! <laughs> probably lost your stream the first time, or did you keep it going? No, no, I kept the stream going. Did you? The stream should be, the stream should be good. I just stopped and restarted. What is this happening? Oh, another? Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. And, and then it works if I... It's going to be something where it's not readying the system. Then I go to scorecard, and I'll hit OK, resume, and that will work. So it's almost like you're refreshing E6? Like, I'm pressing E6, yeah, and then I'm hitting scorecard, and then I'm coming back up. Let's see if it works. Yep, perfect. Wow. I don't know. So that means that, like, the Unicorn software and E6 are, like, stopping talking for a minute. Yeah, something's not syncing up yet. Oh, just outside, gimme. Major short game work to do. <laughs> yeah, if you like, how you liking TGC so far? Pretty good. I haven't played it enough, honestly. You know, I need to learn a little more about it, and I need to play it a little more. Um, you know, setting up an, an, an online game. Uh, yeah. is a little cumbersome if you want. I don't know if that's a good word. Oh, yeah, it's way, it's way more work than it should be, absolutely. Yeah, it just makes no sense. I mean, I, I, I've kind it's of... It'd be I, as simple as, you know, as this one, basically, like a lobby. Just go in. Yeah, why not? And so, like, every, everybody has to, like, know what course to go to, and then if you're not friends, I'm pretty sure from what I've noticed so far is they do show up in the list, and you can add them. You don't even have to add friends yet. You just go on the course, and if somebody's on it, you just get added to the group. They'll pop up on the, yep. on the screen. And then you wait for both people to be on the tee, and then you hit, like, alternating shot or whatever that in the menu. Yeah, yeah, it catches up. Go. 
nice pot. Nice. Yeah, I just I just threw together a, a forty man tournament two days. We got a lot of a lot of people that play wow. tournaments and stuff over there, so it's a lot of fun. Trying out like a little scramble, uh, I don't know, not a scramble, a uh, stable for scoring type thing. Yeah. That's fun. It's fun. We're doing like three rounds. We're on the second round now. So next next time we get one going, I'll let you know. Sure. I would like to. Yeah, that'd be awesome because those you pretty yeah, much just play when you want too, right? What's that? Those you just kind of play when you want, right? Yeah, we set up societies, and then uh, I mean the normal ones run every usually seven days. This one I put like every three days around. You know, one round every three days. And then we're gonna do like a bracket, like we're playing here on this thing. A single elimination bracket. Nice. All right, this is another tricky looking hole here. Yeah. Very tricky. So what, I want a hole, but then you just want a hole, and so now we're so back I'm to you four. four. You're up four still, yeah. Up four, yep. That's why this one I'm just gonna whack. So, I think this, this gotta be the hardest course we're playing. I played Tory Pines, I think. Okay, there's no trouble anywhere, really. Yeah, this thing is... Bay, Bay, Bay Hill, same thing. I had, like, two holes in the water, but other than that, it was hard. Yeah, this, this course is dangerous. Come on! Oh, wow, you're going to have to do it every shot? I should it? I've never had this happen before. In single play, all playing with Rick, I had this happen. I don't know what's going on here. Is it worth closing the Unicorn oh, software out and opening it back up, or no? I just hit the scorecard again. Let me see if it works. I smashed that one until I felt. Uh, it's better not go in the water now. I'm going to be pissed. Oh my gosh, did we, did, 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 did we, oh no, we didn't freeze, you have to select drop. I was going to say, did we just yeah, freeze, dude? <laughs> Where is it going to let me drop here? I don't, okay, I can drop right there, I guess, right? I can drop right there over the water, good enough. From what I've gathered, even though E6 has been out for a little while, the online side of it is just now kind of taken off because people are getting it. And so hopefully yeah. there's a lot of enhancements in the work, which I would assume, you know, that's why they're going, uh, you know, subscription. That way they can reinvest and, and put out enhancements. And uh, I would assume it'll get better. Yeah, I'm impressed that they, they come up with updates every month. So, so All the time. Good. Yeah. You know, as as they're always working on something. People have to just keep putting in the tickets and let them know anyway. You have to let them know. Yeah, they so can't improve see. without feedback. Yeah. So did you I, hit... I'm, I'd love to see the zoom to landing area button just so we can see, you know, the fairway where we want to land. Yeah. Did and you drop a ball? Because I'm still looking at your ball in the water. Oh, I dropped. I'm just looking at the tee box here. Oh, that means we froze.